Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Was he a paid assassin? There's a lot of unanswered questions, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to show you something right here. I want to show you four and a half minutes right here. If you was doing this job, I wouldn't even be doing this. I'd be at some beautiful place with a gorgeous ocean. Look, they're all pointing. The Atlantic, maybe the Pacific. Yeah, yeah someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. And so I'm here with you fighting like hell to get a sentence. What's happening? And to make sure we take back the White House, uh, because if we do, we're going to make America better than ever before. We're going to make it. Yeah, look. And it's there not he is. easy, because we have millions and millions Officer. of people in our country that shouldn't be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have criminals. He's we on have the roof. He's right. Dealers. We have people that right should here. not be here. Right on the roof. And it's much He's tougher than it is. In recorded history, we had the best border. In fact, if they could ever put up a chart, I don't know if they can do it. Do you guys have access to that chart that I love so much? You don't mind if I go off teleprompter, do you? Because these teleprompters are so damn boring. I try and explain that. Oh, there's it. Wow. You guys are doing it. They're getting better with time. My guys, take a look at that chart. Take a look at the arrow on the bottom. See the big red, the red arrow, right? So that's when I left office. That was the lowest point, and that comes right from the government services, comes right out of Border Patrol. Take a look at that. So that arrow is the lowest amount of illegal immigration ever in recorded history into our country. And then... And then the worst president in the history of our country took over. And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you want to see something that says, you know, you have Vanessa Broussard, according to you live from Butler, Pennsylvania, we hear shots fired at the rally not 10 to 15 minutes after President Trump arrived. He hit the ground, unheard of yet if he has been hit by gunfire. Thanks, Secret Service okay. quickly erected. We can see the guy down. the snipers on the building behind the... I, I think they the hit podium. him because the guy is... He looks bad. Secret Service had more than enough time to get Trump out of there. <sighs> Law enforcement apparently saw this individual on the roof, right by the venue, 
and they didn't take any action. What in the world happened at this Trump rally? Was he paid to do this? He apparently did some sort of marksman shooting at a gun club and his dad gave him a gun. What in the world happened here with this case? We are looking into this matter. This is Thomas Matthew Crooks, 20 years old. <sighs> Did Trump's Secret Service fail him? Is there somebody at the higher, highest levels of the government that wanted to take Trump out? Is he a patsy? <sighs> a lot of unanswered questions. We're looking into this. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button. We're covering this case at all ang angles. No stone left unturned. We're peeling the onion. We're trying to get the truth here. I will continue to inform you anything and everything about this guy and uh, check out my playlist. We share a lot. We share. He bought ammo. About 50 rounds of ammo. His dad gave him a gun. He uh, worked in the food industry. But what else out there don't we know? He had a Discord account that they got rid of. Not sure if he had any other social media account. He had bomb making material in his car and inside his home. What were his plans with those two things? What's the intent here? What was his goal here? What was his mission? Who was he corresponding with? Who was he communicating with? Law enforcement has his phone, FBI. But remember folks, the FBI is ran by the DOJ and Biden is in office. Let me know what you think. We'll talk soon. Praying for peace. Stay safe.